Hi friends, welcome to our new series, AWS Glue. So what is AWS Glue? AWS Glue is a serverless, fully managed ETL service. So what does it mean exactly? Let's say for example, if you can have a look at your, our current ETL tools, we are going to install server, then we'll install a client, then we'll start creation of our ETL jobs. But when it comes to Glue, you just take your ETL scripts into the Glue and start execution immediately. Here, you do not need to maintain any infrastructure. You just place your ETL scripts and start execution in serverless AWS Glue. So AWS Glue has a data catalog. So where it can store all your metadata. So what type of metadata? When you're trying to execution your ETL jobs, you do have source and targets, right? So the tables can have their own metadata. So your crawlers in AWS Glue crawl your data, identify the metadata, and that will go ahead and create the metadata tables in, and store those tables in a data catalog. So once your data is ready, the metadata is ready, and you'll go ahead and start your execution of your ETL scripts. Those ETL scripts can generate in a Python or Scala code, depending on option, whether whatever we choose here. And Glue can give you option where it can edit your Python code or Scala code, depending on your flexibility. So now let's have a look at our AWS Glue architecture. See here, here I do have a data stores here. In the data stores, you do have certain data. Whatever it is, is a file or RDBMS, whatever it is. Right, your crawler will identify your data based on your data that will create metadata of the table. And those metadata can be stored in your data catalog. So all these things can be handled by your crawler. So the crawler identify your data, then based on your data, that will create the metadata and store those metadata into your data catalogs in the form of tables, right? Once your data catalog is ready, then we'll start our ETL jobs. In the ETL jobs, where you can apply your business logics or transformations in the form of scripts. You can place your script in the jobs, then apply your transformations on your source data, then load your data into your target. So, you can start execution of your jobs in on-demand basis or in a scheduled basis. You can schedule your jobs or you can run on-demand. All this environment can handle by using AWS Management Console. Right, and if you can have a look at our regular ETL here, where we can extract the data, transform your data, then load your data. The same way Glue works, it will take source as Amazon S3, or RDS, or Redshift, or any of your RDBMS. It can extract the source from the files also. Whatever it's AVRO file, JSON file, CSV file, whatever it is, it does not bother. Then by using your ETL scripts, it will apply your business logics. Then apply your transformations. Once the transformations are done by using your scripts, then it loads your data into targets. Like the same way we do have source, we do have same type of targets like S3, RDS, Redshift, or any of the JDBC. So all your, whatever the transformations it is applying on your source data. So all the source metadata can store into your data catalog. And the statistics, whatever it is trying to play here, can store in your data catalog. So this is how AWS works and architecture of the AWS Glue. Thank you guys.